I sent you. Remember that I sent you that meme? Yeah. I sent, oh, I sent today. Him, yeah, I sent him when business is booming, open the second location. This chick with a <laughs> fucking tracheotomy hole. <laughs> We're going to. Hell. I'm going to hell on that one. I literally, as soon as I saw that and sent that to you, I spat out my drink and it was dying laughing. That was. Uh, I was in the. I was in the process of taking a shit and didn't have to shit anymore. I just painted the bowl and was like, <laughs> okay, that's how we're doing it today. Cool. Plus, I had Chinese food for dinner, so it's. I think they. I think they as had soon balloons as I saw in the there. Meme, when business is rolling, opened up a second location with the tra- tracheotomy. I was. I was at work last night, and um, I was like, I'm gonna go eat some Chinese food tomorrow. And my manager was like, oh, I love Chinese food. I was like, me too. Not a fan of their balloons, though. Welcome aboard to the Article 1776 podcast. I am co host Matthew Kicklighter. This is Scott Slater right? 7. So we were fucking A. <laughs> well, well, at least we're <laughs> fucking something. Remember that I sent you. Remember that I sent you that meme <coughs> as you cough off that joke? Oh, yeah, I sent, today? I sent him in, yeah, I sent him in a little. When business is booming, open the second location. This chick with a fucking tracheotomy <laughs> hole. We're going to hell. I'm going to hell on that one. I literally, as soon as I saw that and sent that to you, I spat out my drink and it was dying laughing. That was. Uh, I was in the. I was in the process of taking a shit and didn't have to shit anymore. I just painted the bowl and was like, Tah! "Okay, that's how we're doing it today." Go. Plus, I had Chinese food for dinner, so it's. I think they. I think they had balloons. As soon in as there. I saw the meme, when business is rolling, opened up a second location with the tra- tracheotomy. I was, I was at work last night, and um, I was like, I'm gonna go eat some Chinese food tomorrow. And my manager was like, Oh, I love Chinese food. I was like, Me too. Not a fan of their balloons, though. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. There is a video of Re- of House Representative Marjorie Tyler Greene walking through the halls of Congress carrying a big white balloon. <laughs> like a big white round floating balloon, like it was full of helium. She just carried around her balloon. They were like, is that supposed to like symbolize what happened with China? She was like, no, it's I'm just a balloon. I'm sure that went over well. <laughs> yeah, it went over the entire continent of the United States yeah. really well. <laughs> so, I'm looking yeah. at you, Joe. Yeah. So you know what? Uh, you know what? Sometimes people kind of look stupid in uh, in front of the camera or without the camera too. Like some, I do. Oh, that's me. I like all the times. Like, like, like no, like. No one utilizes the Fifth Amendment right, uh, because if you've seen some of the court cases, like some people that would—I don't know if you fucking seen it—but the one that um, Judge Judy, I think it's not Judge Judy, but uh, People's Court, to where there's two teens that he says in the case of uh, someone, the plaintiff, and the plaintiff said that. Oh, uh, they stole money. They stole my headphones, and they stole this and that. Do you know what the kid? Do you know what the two teens and the de- defendant side said? He's fucking idiot. You know what they said? They said, nah, what's up? There were no headphones in there. Yeah, Adam. 
Well, okay. I feel like it's prevalent that we go over the Fifth Amendment for the yeah. simpletons. The Fifth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States states that, and this is, you, want, you know, you want, you want, very you uh, broken down. Yeah. It's a very broken down kind of, uh, kind of thing. And this is, I'll, I'll put this up. I'll put this up for everyone so they could, they could see what the Fifth Amendment is. Okay, so the Fifth Amendment is thus. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a present presentment or indictment of a grand jury. Except of cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia, when in actual service in time of war or public danger, nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb. Nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Nor shall private property be taken for gov- for public use without just compensation. <clears throat> now, I know there's a lot of really big words in there for people. Let's try to keep this as dumb as possible. I'm not saying that everybody who watches this is dumb. But even I am dumb when it comes to some parts of the Constitution, which is why I've been reading up so much on it lately, because I feel our Constitution is in jeopardy. You have the right to the Fifth Amendment. When you plead the Fifth, you're, you, you can't be fucked with. Like, you have to have a lawyer present at that point. Like, you can't say anything to perjure, I think it's perjure, purge yourself, I guess. So, like, you're stopped by the cops. Okay, well, <clears throat> we got a, uh, a report that you were driving recklessly. Um, and I smell marijuana and alcohol coming out of your car. Uh, what do you have to say? I plead the fifth. So you plead the fifth. Let them put you in handcuffs. Let them take you in. But you've pled the fifth. They can't ask you any more questions without your lawyer present. And if you're not working with some absolute fucking snake your lawyer will protect you okay so when you're in interrogation for something and you've pled the fifth and your lawyer is there they ask you a question your lawyer can sit there and say don't answer that we don't have to answer that and you don't you've pled the fifth until the trial until evidence is brought to you you don't have to say shit to the cops yeah, it's like uh it's like dave Chappelle said one of his characters at uh, dave Chappelle's kid uh, one two Three, four, fifth. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> fifth. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. One, two, three, four. Fifth. I plead the four, fifth. So yeah, that's the Fifth Amendment. Uh, so it's kind of like you. Some people would incriminate themselves just upon the basis of not recognizing that they have a fifth amendment right exactly like, literally and I, I all respect to law enforcement officers out there literally you know all respect to them but they will they will use what you say in basis of of just saying like okay if you if you willingly well without knowing that you're being tricked into answering something you will you'll you'll kind of fuck yourself a little bit you know say if you say the wrong thing it can be used oh, yeah. against you in court <coughs> you ever lied to your parents when you were younger and you said the wrong thing and they used it against you it's the same fucking yeah. principle it's the same fucking it's principle. the same thing like Luckily, my my wife is a lawyer. Oh, my! Not, I can't say wife, fiance for right now. But I have good news. What's that? We have actively started planning our wedding. Like I have a suit picked out. I know you told <clears> me you invited me to be the best man. I think no, you you invited me to the wedding. But that was before we actually like. We have a date. No, you told me that you had a date, and then... No, we didn't. We didn't have one at the time. We had a time frame of what we oh, were okay. looking at. <clears throat> but we've narrowed it down to the month and date. 
So we have that. <clears throat> We're looking at venues. Um, and, um, oh my God, this one place is nice. It's a venue, a bar, a grill, and an inn at the same. <clears throat> so like it's an inn. So like it's a whole inn thing. We're kind of looking at springing for everybody to stay at the inn for the night before the wedding. <laughs> That way everybody's there. Nobody has to worry about making it on time. Nobody has to worry about like missing something, right? Like we'll foot the bill. It's not that expensive. It's a package deal. I got to get a minimum of 25 a people. Deal, God damn it. There were a package deal. You get one nut, yeah. you get the other. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, I'm the yeah, left nut. Uh, well, you're all the, you're all the nuts and shaft. I'm just, <laughs> uh, I'm all I, the nuts. I, I, I'm asshole. Just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're just the asshole. Hey, assholes get oh, fucked. Fuck off. That's my saying, okay? Dickheads. Hey, you opened the door and I slammed it on your fucking Dick, big toe. Dick, Suck it. Dickheads do the fucking assholes get fucked. I'd rather much be called a dickhead than an asshole because dickheads do the fucking assholes get fucked. That's my saying. <sighs> so my suit, straight up though, is a, like straight up Conor McGregor suit. That, that you're walking in with the swag, so I got this, dude. I got some, you I got some it, Fifth man. Amendment cases here for you. Um, uh, Miranda versus Arizona, a case in which the court held the. I know that, this one. Oh, you, yeah, you know it. A case. I know this one. Yeah. So, uh, can you give a story as to what you know on it? Okay, so I'm. It's been, the last time I covered this was in college, so it's I'm a little dusty on this. I'm I'm a little dusty balls on this, um, but I'm gonna kind of give you just like the breakdown. There was an arrest made in the state of Arizona. I cannot remember where, so don't ask me. Um, but <clears throat> basically, this person uh, with the last name Miranda, um was charged with a pretty hefty crime um, without the presence of a lawyer and without understanding his rights as a suspect. As a suspect, you have rights. You are, you should have, people should have been informed, but up until this, there was never this issue. You know, the law was the law. You got caught doing something. The cops said, Hey, you just knocked over a piggly wiggly. Here's the evidence. You're going to jail. There was no investigation about it. <clears throat> it wasn't until later in our justice system that people were like, hey, look, just because he had a trial, do you have to this? There was a whole bunch of crap. Well, this person was arrested and charged without knowing their rights as a suspect. Nowadays, there you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law right there. That is the basis of your Fifth Amendment. You have the right to remain silent. That is your Fifth Amendment right. That in, that that act in itself, the right to remain silent, is the Fifth Amendment. Because anything you say without a lawyer present can be used against you if you're baited into saying something that you shouldn't have been saying. That's your fault. The Fifth Amendment protects you from that. <clears throat> Um, you're the right to attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will it be appointed to you? That's habeas corpus. Um, here's what it says. I'm oh, sorry. Public. Here's what it says. Ahead. Uh, in the quotes, I, I forgot. It doesn't say who it, who it's from. Uh, oh, Chief Justice Earl Warren wrote for the Miranda majority. Assessments of the knowledge the defendant possessed based on information as to his age, education, intelligence, and prior contact with authorities can never be more than speculation a warning is a clear-cut fact more important whatever the background of the person interrogated a warning at the time of the interrogation is indispensable to overcome its pressures and to ensure that the individual knows he is free to exercise the privilege at that point in time Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. This is the history of the Miranda rights, okay? 
June 13, 1966, the outcome of Miranda v. Arizona provided that suspects must be informed of their specific legal rights when they are placed under arrest. This decision was based on a case in which defendant Ernesto Miranda was accused of robbery, kidnapping, rape, sorry. During police interrogation, he confessed to the crimes. The conviction was overturned due to allegedly imitating police interrogation methods. After a retrial that included witnesses and other evidence, Miranda was again convicted. His trial was, however, then assured of being fair, and the original conviction was reasonably upheld without question. In 64, the results of another trial, Escobedo v. Illinois, additionally provided that a suspect has the right to counsel being present during police questioning or to consult with an attorney before being questioned by police if the police intend to use the answers against the suspect at a trial or if the person being questioned is being detained and questioned against their will. In 68, the finalized text for the Miranda warning was provided by California Deputy Attorney General, Attorney General Doris Mayer and District Court, District Court Attorney Harold Berliner. Prior to the institution of the Miranda warning, confessions needed only be voluntary on the part of the suspect. This created a difficult situation for police who were then often faced with the evidence at a trial that the person was not of sound mind or were under circumstantial duress when they gave their confession. The Miranda warning protects an individual's rights by explaining the opinions clearly, options clearly, and upholds police authority when they properly re- re- read the Miranda warning and get a clear, intelligent answer that the suspect understands his or her rights as they have been explained. The Miranda warning is a legal necessity throughout the United States and varies only slightly in its wording in different states. <clears throat> so this stops you from incriminating yourself. The Fifth Amendment, along with this, stops you from incriminating yourself, but also gives you the warning that, hey, you have that right that you don't have to incriminate yourself without being questioned with an attorney present. Use your Fifth Amendment. It works. Even if it's something simple as a fucking traffic violation and you know you didn't do anything wrong and you got the right and you got a way to prove it, bam. I, you know, I plead the Fifth. I'd like to talk to my lawyer before I answer any questions and have all my information set up before this goes any farther. What are they going to do? Are they going to shoot you? No. Yeah. Here's another one that I, I don't think that you've ever, well, Floridian, I think it's heard of before. Chambers versus Florida, 1940. After I've heard four black men were held under dangerous circumstances and forced to confess to murder charges under duress, they were convicted and sentenced to death. The Supreme Court, uh, to credit, took issue with that. Justice Hugo Black wrote for the majority. This is in quote. We are not impressed by the argument that law enforcement methods such as those under review are necessary to uphold our laws. The Constitution prohibits such lawless means uh, irrespective uh, irrespective of the end. And this argument flouts the basic principle that all people must stand on an uh, equality before the bar of justice in every American court today, as in ages past, we are not without tragic proof that the ex- exalted power of some governments to punish manufactured crime, a dic- a dictator, dictator, dictatorially, is the handmaid of tyranny. Under our constitutional systems, system, courts stand against any winds that blow as uh, havens of refuge for those who might otherwise suffer because they are helpless, weak, outnumbered, or because they are non-conforming victims of prejudice and public excitement. Due to uh, due process yeah. of law preserved for all by our Constitution commands that no such practice as that disclosed by this rec- uh, record shall send any accused to his death no higher duty no more solemn responsibility rests upon this court than uh, than that of a translating into living law and maintaining this constitutional shield deliberately planned and inscribed for the benefit of every human being subject to our constitution of whatever race creed or uh, persuasion So, <clears throat> basically, and trying to keep this as simple as possible for people, if you commit 
if you are accused of committing murder, which in your town or your state is the capital punishment, <clears throat> you can't be held accountable for that unless they actually present evidence to indict you. And a grand jury has to indict you. So let's say uh, – no, that would be a bad example. Okay. A grand jury of your peers, which means a grand jury appointed by the Supreme Court of the, that state, <clears throat> unless it gets a federal court, unless it's a federal court case, a grand jury of that state has to literally see that, yes, evidence is brought against you, yes, it's compelling enough to warrant a trial, then they have to indict you. They can't just be like, oh, well, he was there when that person was killed. There was no other person around and he's here. It's his fault. He killed that person. You're protected against that under the Fifth Amendment. Yeah. It's like, and here's the thing. He worked at Scottsdale over here, worked with a law firm, uh, kind of close with a law firm, law firm. So he. I worked for the law firm for Yeah. And he knows years. a little bit more about that part of the system than what I do. I, I mean, like, I'm not going to lie. I don't know everything. Really? I don't know everything. Oh my God! I never would have no, thought I, that. I, I, no, You're only, only human. human. God, guys. <laughs> but no, yeah. <laughs> Do gooder. <laughs> yes, Dad. Sorry, don't hit me. No, oh, whoa. The only time that you can't, but you don't need to be indicted for something is if you're a member of the ser of, of the armed services or a militia. But like, we don't have militias yeah. like that anymore. Uh, literally. Yeah, I know a guy. <clears throat> But no, it's literally if you're fucking, <laughs> it would be different in, if you're in a locked room with a person and uh, someone committed murder in that same locked room and you're there, then, I mean, but if you were to try to pin someone who just be happened to walk across the street or walk along the sidewalk while the incident happened, yeah. yes, it's illegal. So it's like they they can't pin you on that though. Yeah. Another thing is is under the Fifth Amendment, you also can't be tried for the same crime twice. Now this is what this means. Matthew, you're being you're being indicted for capital murder. Okay. <clears throat> During this investigation and this whole trial proceeding, evidence is mishandled, mislabeled, and just overall you have a you basically have um, if I can give a good example of this, you remember Kyle Rittenhouse's, uh, not his attorney, but the attorney that was trying to accuse him of, yeah. you know, murder. You're basically going to get one of those. Okay. So that he, that guy's your lawyer. Okay. He fucked everything up. That's a mistrial, but you get expunged of that. Like, okay. Hey, look, there's a mistrial. He's acquitted. Okay. So you were indicted for capital murder, okay? <clears throat> you were acquitted. You're living your life. Five, ten years later down the road, there's new evidence brought forward, and they're still trying to charge you with capital murder. The Fifth Amendment protects you of that. They can't charge you for the same crime twice. I, I do remember – remember when uh, – what's his name? Went up – that's called double yeah, jeopardy. Yeah, and you know what? Um, you know what? Who? Uh, fuck. What's his name? That no, not OJ, OJ Simpson. Uh, same case. Same. 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 <laughs> not, not, same. Same. <laughs> Sorry, Juice. Same. Same, uh, same trial for Kyle Rittenhouse. Remember the dude that was up there? I forgot his name. Fuck. Oh, the guy who got his yeah, arm blown yeah, off. Kind of like that said. Uh, yeah, they were. He was trying to have another court case brought up for attempted murder uh, after he had already been acquitted of all his other no, charges. No, he he kind of fucked himself over when he self admittedly when oh, he yeah. said that Kyle Rittenhouse was trying to defend himself in a defensive type of manner. Like, did you see the look on everyone's face as soon as he? Oh, they, yeah, they yeah. knew that he fucked up. 
I watched that. I watched that entire trial. Look, bad timing. It was just bad timing. Like, I, obviously the man, obviously the man didn't want to do that. Nobody wants to do that. It was I mean, good on him. He was prepared. Um, as a parent, I would want my children to be you know prepared to take care of themselves by any means necessary, and any parent should want that. But uh, let, let's take a brief let's take a brief uh, stroll down that lane. Wait, before you go, hold on. All Sorry, three people. Did you happen to notice? Uh, I didn't know if you've seen it. I think the night beforehand and a few nights before that situation, the building behind where Kyle was originally standing was built, uh, was burnt what, what, up in flames. Yeah, they, 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 there was considerable damage done to it. Yeah, I don't know how bad it was, but there was considerable damage done to it. But I want to, but I want to make this known. Okay. When you're a federally registered sex offender, you can't, you know, involve yourself in um uh, you can't involve yourself in civil unrest like that Uh, right there you're breaking the law you're breaking the violations of your release or you're breaking the terms of your release okay that's one strike on uh the child molester so you know he's already there he's inciting violence which is probably against his fucking thing so you know he got forever sleeped. I can't be mad about that. He was a child molester. Second dude, Kyle Rittenhouse is trying to get towards the police officers. That's the right thing to do. If, uh, given what had just happened three minutes earlier, where Rosenbaum, you know, got his off switch turned off, got his switch, pl- switch or switch flicked. Um, you know, <clears throat> he's trying to make it towards the cops. Right thing to do. That's the right thing to do. If you shoot somebody, call the cops. You're going to be in a lot of like, you know, legal shit, but it's the right thing to do. Okay. He called the cops. was like, Hey, I'm walking towards you. La 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 la. I just killed this guy. I didn't mean to. Let's get this taken care of. He was doing the right thing. Then he got attacked. The dude tried to hit him with a skateboard. He fell. Tried to hit him again. Two well placed shots. Good on you. Here's the thing, too. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I apologize. But uh, here's the thing, too. I don't know if you've seen it, and I'm going to mention his name again Donut Operator. Excellent uh, dude to to break down this stuff. He showed a video. He he showed the video. There was uh, the same dude. You remember that dude with the uh, the pistol that was right by Kyle? Yeah. So literally. Uh, about the frame to where he, uh, Kyle and the sex offender dude, Mr. Pedophile, uh, before they kind of went at it or as Kyle was being chased, the dude with the pistol fires around in the air. So for those of you with with context, it's simply to say to where Kyle could be thinking that he was defending himself because he can't really say, Mm -hmm. he can't really see who had the firearm but he knew he was being chased yeah. out, chased after by some dude. So in technicality, when you're being, when a round is being fired off and you feel as though you are threatened, that is then legal terms for self-defense. Yeah, that's a, that's a legal justification for self-defense. Now getting back to the dude who got his arm blown off, <clears throat> he's a felon. The man was a felon. Should have had a firearm to begin with, okay? So he's a felon, has a firearm. He goes up to Rittenhouse, right? Tries to grab the weapon from him. Rittenhouse pulls his weapon on him and is like, no. Guy puts his hands up. He hesitates. Kyle averts his gaze. He draws his pistol and then gets his arm blown off because he put it in Kyle's face and I didn't was about pull. To say, like, uh, uh, hopefully, YouTube, this is just a joke, nothing and anything mean. But I was going to say, no need to go to the gym anymore for to get shred- shredded. Uh, Yo, 223 will shred you <laughs> real quick. Yeah. It's just, what did you think was going to happen? You have no business owning a firearm. You have no right as a U.S. citizen, to own a firearm because you're a felon, okay? And now it's a little weird when you jerk off now. So what? Give yourself the stranger. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Yeah, just learn how to use your right or left hand. Um, 
But, you know, Kyle did the right thing, and he and he shut the fuck up. You didn't hear shit out of Kyle Rittenhouse until his actual trial. He shut the fuck up. He used I his Fifth Amendment so rights. We're going to, this, one's a, this one's a heater. Go we're it, going to get banned. Uh, YouTube overlords, we love you. Uh, whatever, you know, uh, I, I want that, the, the monetization to stay green. Uh, I think we're okay. We're not using this in like, we're, we're not spitting misconception. We're not spitting mis, misinformation. You can literally look in, you can literally we're find literally, these videos. You, like, Maybe. YouTube, we're not spreading hate. We're literally educating people on the all the amendments rights and their cases. As you just said, as you just heard me say with evidence backing on up the rights and the wrongs and examples. So this is no way, shape or form any hate speech or blaming to any blaming anyone. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Understand your rights. Don't get fucked by the system. So moving on from, you know, constitutions and stuff like this, uh, you've been playing high on life yeah. a lot lately. How are you uh, liking it? It's funny as shit. There are some instances to where the the comedic like back talk from the enemies gets a little frustrating because I keep sometimes I keep having have my ass handed to me, but it's and they're just sitting yeah. there talking shit to you. Oh, look at that! You fucking died. You suck. You need to like, go to the gym like, more. Fuck off! I get so frustrated. I, I got. <clears throat> I f- I fell out of that game honestly. I don't know. I might here's, delete it. Here's my personal take, and I'm going to go in deep on this one. I'm going to go in fucking deep. Ready for this? Oh, like, elbow deep? I, I, I will piss off a lot of people when I say this. Go so, for it. are you ready for this ride? I got to ask you. Okay, so. Oh, bring it. J.K. Rollins. A lot of people okay. will okay. A lot of people are pissed off what she said or whatever. All this and that, all that and the other. Oh, with the yeah. whole trans yeah. thing. Okay, yeah, yeah not yeah. sure. So about. it's like, yeah. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. You're still loving the stuff that she created. You're still loving the stuff that she made. If you have an issue, if yeah. if you have a, some certain issue with it, create your own version of Harry Potter, Make, making sure it's well backed, making sure that it's whatever. But as a kid, we didn't sexualize everything. We didn't sexualize anything. We just let the imagination continue to grow. Do with what you will. So... Like, as I got older, I told friends to stop being gay, but it didn't yeah. mean that. So, like, here, here's the thing. Like, I'm not going to, okay, I'm not going to prohibit, I don't agree with anything that Adolf Hitler said. I don't believe, I, I agree with his actions. He treated people horribly, everything. But I wouldn't hold back anything that he had to say because simply put, if I were to say something and someone else didn't like it, then they would be able to ban what I say in retrospect. So buy the game if you want to. Don't buy the game if you want to. But fucking, fucking, hey, don't you know? Like, don't try to like force your unhappiness with some people. You know, if a people in if yeah, people so, enjoy the game or movie or book, let them fucking enjoy it. I haven't even noticed it, honestly. Like in this game, there are there's a transgender character, or like you have the ability to play a transgender character. <coughs> I haven't noticed it. That's how much I'm worried about it. I haven't even fucking noticed it. Like, there's one chick who looks kind of like a boy. I don't know, fuck. But, like, you don't notice those things. I'm not playing the game for these people's sexuality. I don't care. I don't care. Like, that's not what a game is. You're giving me a line of quests to do. It's a Harry Potter game. I'm not going around banging chicks at Hogwarts. Okay. Or dudes, or like that's not an aspect of the game. That's not a mechanic of the game. Why is that a focal point of the game? <clears throat> it's not. It's not. Um, Hogwarts uh, 
Playboy Bunny Mansion. It's not Hogwarts Penthouse uh, Prologue. It's not fucking Hogwarts Cat House Ranch in fucking Vegas bullshit. Like, none of that has anything to do with the game. Why are you making this a focal point of the game? I haven't, up until actually playing it and like seeing people play it, that's all I heard about the game. Hey, the new Hogwarts game is going to be amazing. Um, the, the wand combat is really, is actually really cool though. The wand combat is pretty cool. The, the graphics are nice. You got to have 16 gigabytes of RAM just to play the game and you can play as a transgender character. What does that have to do with the rest of the game? What does that have to do with the wizarding world? Like, do I get to go around and like, Flaunt the fact that I'm a transgender male as a woman and try to get Harry to dangle my dangle. Like, <sighs> yeah. If you fucking enjoy, enjoy. Why, why are you worried about the that? game for you? Like, enjoy, enjoy the game because of the quest. Don't be, don't bo- be, don't bully someone because of your own personal beliefs. If, if they enjoy the game, let them enjoy the game. Uh, so much is to where it's like, Okay, so we get it. You're on the movement. Good for you. You have that First Amendment, right? You know, you're on you're on that movement. Yeah, you, you you're go. utilizing your First Amendment, right? But don't don't tread on the fact of how people want to enjoy their own type of shit, like their own gaming experience. I may not. I may be. I may differ from the gaming type of enthusiasm than what Scottsdale has. We love COD though. Yeah, we love we love we love COD though, you know, and we we have several simu- similarities that way. Here's the thing: much like with politics, there's always going to be people that enjoy one game but have common interest in another. I mean, if you're transgender, cool, be yourself. I don't got a problem with that. Be yourself. You trying to be extra with it? It doesn't. It, that that doesn't. That doesn't. I have a gay friend, okay? <clears throat> really cool dude. I actually gave him the nickname Rainbow Kitten Glitter Fairy uh, Butterfly Unicorn Pants. That's his nickname on my phone, okay? It's one fucking word. And for the longest time, I had to tell this man, hey, look, I'm not like that. Please stop making passes at me. I find you okay as a friend, but that's where that bill stops. I'm strictly vegetarian. <clears throat> I had to tell him three. I had to tell him three times, <clears throat> but he got you it. Make that okay? shirt strictly, this strictly vegetarian. This motherfucker is. This motherfucker, honestly, when you first see him, you wouldn't think he was gay. All right, he was. He's built kind of buff. Used to be a really fat kid. Now he's built kind of buff. Hairy chest, wears muscle shirts all the time, like you're wearing. Got a beard, short hair. I love the community. I love people in this community, but this man is if gay I, as hell. If I'm, if someone's going to image me as a bear. You're not hairy I'm enough. Like, I'm- From what I understand, you're not hairy enough. But this dude is gay. But that's not why I would go to his house and hang out with him and play video games. Just him being him, him being himself, that was good enough in my book to be my friend. All right. Now, if every time I see you, hey, baby boy, you want to go in the back? Look, motherfucker, I gave you three warnings. The fourth one's going to hurt you. Trying to be your friend here. That's where that stops. Oh, come on. He just wanted to cuddle with the beard. He did. And he did. And he did. But then he met my lady. And then he was like, I respect her for what she's doing. How about it? So she didn't want to but share like, the beard. I worked with this dude. She doesn't share the beard. Oh, this dude, he's he's a cool dude. He's a good friend. That's where he needed that that that's the lane he needed to stay in. That was fine. No need for the extra. If I say straight up, hey, look, that's not me. You do you. I ain't gonna judge you. I'll still hang out with you and shit. I'll be you your wingman. You, you do you, boo boo. I'll be your wingman. All right, I'll be your straight heterosexual wingman. Do it on yeah, your own like, time. I, I, I'd be the wingman that would walk by him and say, oh, if he's hitting on the dude, 
like you know d- dude uh, like my homeboy over here has got a long if you're into uh, thick boy hey, all right all right, all right, all right. We, we, we don't need all we don't well, need to go I down mean, that like, way the, but the like bells, no i'm here the, to boost men's self-confidence okay if you get a Look, the point I'm trying I to make will is say that you got an elephant tree trunk between your legs and then fucking he really will. Yeah, he really I will, will fucking I for my boys, for bros. Ferda, Ferda. <laughs> Ferda boys, Ferda. No, oh, but like I want people to understand and there are a lot of people like me. We get that everybody needs to have their rights and that's not what we're talking about and that's not what we're trying to stop. That's not even the thing. Okay. That's, that's not, that's not, that's not the move. The move is I'm not fucking worried about it. Stop being fucking worried about it. Okay. My, if, if, if I had two lesbians next door, hey, that's cool. They're my next door neighbors. Let's look out for them. They'll look out for us. Or at least I hope that that's what happened. I got two gay guys next door. Not really, but if I'm saying, if I did, all right, cool. Big game, big deal. Uh, we look out for each other. They look out for me. I look out for them. You know, whatever. That's what it's about. I don't care enough to uproot my entire life for whatever. I've got other things to do. Like I have kids to raise. I have a dog to train. I have a wife to keep happy. I have a career. I have. Uh, my own business. I've got shit that I'm trying to do. Like, I have my own shit to worry about. I'll respect you for being you, not because of what you do when the doors are closed. I don't care about any of that. It doesn't change how I see. You literally treat you, okay? people how you want to be treated. <clears throat> Look, man. If the if the dudes next door want to come over one day while we're having a barbecue and drinks, fucking come on over and hang out. Tell me about yourself. Where'd you grow up? What do you do? Like, what do you do for fun around here? Because I'm still technically new to the area. I've only been here less than a year. Like, it's that's literally fine. Treat people how you want. I to didn't treat it is what he's trying to say. I didn't give you a beer so you'd suck my dick. Like that's don't I don't need any of that. That's I got my own ways. I got my own ways. Here's a beer. Calm down. Like. That's not a part of life. I, I I don't go around worrying about who's what and what color and who's praying to who. You have a yeah. Find better things to occupy we, your time. We, oh, so I'll say this: there are freedoms that were given up for the average everyday American people that were, no matter what race, re, religion, or creed, color, whatever that you are. There are freedoms that are given up to them that way that you can live the live the life that you see fit, no matter if you pray to Allah, the pasta gods, Jesus, whatever that it is. Whoever that you pray to is your fucking right. You know that Mormons believe is it, is it Mormons or Jehovah's Witnesses, but I believe it's Mormons. They believe that a xenomorph alien and his space armada would go around sucking up the souls of dead humans and other animals throughout the galaxy and whatnot, and then <clears throat> drop them off in a fucking volcano. And the ones that got out of the volcano are the ones that influence everyday life. But you know, you can you know like you can you can believe yeah. that. That's exactly you what you, you can do. I I can't kill you for it. Or else I get in trouble, or you know I can't create a or make, commit a hate crime because of it, because then I get in trouble for it. Like, there's better things to do. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. It's stupid. Obviously, it's not true. I don't believe it. There's a lot of things I don't fucking believe, but I can't judge you for that. Like, I I know people in my personal life who believe and that on shit. That no. Scottsdale, do you know the company that will not suck the freedoms out of you, but inject more freedoms into you? You really reached the bottom of the barrel <laughs> yeah, for that one, didn't you? <laughs> Article 1776. Um, We're trying to educate you motherfuckers. On the Constitution. And we love freedom. you. I want to say sh- shop at article1776.com. Scottsdale, given your socials and your shits and whatever. 
Uh, Scott's Eighty Seven, Twitch, Twitter, uh, Instagram. You, you can find my socials in the in the link description below with his and everything else. Guys, want to say thank you so so much. He's got too many variations. Like, like <laughs> comment, and subscribe for more freedom that you see here on Article Seventeen Seventy Six podcast. Want to say thank y'all so so much, and we love y'all. Freedom the fuck on. Stop doing that. No. Well, tell me what to do. I don't need your permission. You're not my dad. You're not even my real dad, Steve. Bring the fuck on. Love y'all. <laughs>